Okay, so this is the EXT65. I'm gonna show the display. So check out the link. Yeah, so numpads for all today. We go from no numpad builds for a long time, and then now we suddenly have two numpad builds. So it is a 65% with a numpad on the side. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not the first time we're seeing this layout. So you can read, there's a lot of words. See, so, yeah, Southpaw 65, exactly, except that thing hasn't shipped yet. At least for most people. Because I was supposed to build one over a year ago. I said the parts, the, 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 the switches and stuff for Southpaw 65. Still nothing. Yeah, so, okay, so I will say, for, for <laughs> first impressions of the website, this was written by an engineer or by someone that's not a writer by uh, profession or anything like that. You can tell easily. But he's someone who doesn't write a lot. You know why you can you know how you can tell? Because they wrote a lot here. Kind of like the, remember the, 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 the input club uh, write up for their Hako switches? Kind of the same deal over here. Uh, yeah, so check out the website. Uh, you can read it up, read up on it if you like. And so gas is and this is the interesting part because they are providing you with four different kinds of gaskets. So you get to pick what you want. So they give you rubber, silicon, poron, and foam. With rubber being the firmest and this being the softest. And so you can decide how you want to do it. Yeah, so interesting stuff, definitely. All that uh, four, so 1.4 kilograms with an aluminum plate, 1.6 kilograms with a brass plate. This will use the VIA configurator. Via yeah, left hand numpad, you get to pick between the standard numpad or you can put just a, a, a 4x5 grid or the left hand numpad because you're going to be using if your left hand your thumb is going to be horizontal and on the right side of the numpad yeah so almost everything else is fixed which is nice only the backspace allows you to move it around oh not even stacked caps <laughs> i am i am a vocal proponent of the standard caps lock Every purchase, okay, so this is kind of important, the purchasing part, right? You can purchase an EXT65 or X65. So have, have we decided on how to how to call it yet? Are we supposed to say X65 or EXT65? Right. No, ISO, I'm out. I'm so out. That's what ISO stands for. There'll be limited EXT65 kits available to be purchased, X65. Beginning at $500, and there are optional kits you may want to include in your purchase. We charge shipping at the end of the purchase. Every purchase of an X65 includes a $20 donation to Greening Australia. We believe in sustainability of our hobby and are making steps to ensure that we can give back to communities and the environment when we can. Every board is inspected by the team for quality control before being carefully shipped out. Please understand that these keyboards are made to order in small batches, so there may be some internal machine marks and anodized inconsistencies. Any keyboards dimmed too low for our standards will be regarded as B-stock. It will be sold separately at a later date.
keep up to date with our Instagram account. We will publish when and where the X65 will be available for purchase. All right, so back to back to this. Oh, wow, still taped up. Yeah, so this was shipped to me by a Japanese horror writer. So he got his hands on one. And so he was kind enough to ship it to me. Very nice. And we will be building it. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to build this this Friday or I'm going to build the dolphin this Friday. It all depends. I haven't looked at my schedule for this week because I've been busy with family the past two weeks. That's mostly out of the way now. So I can finally, re there's finally a return to normalcy. I can finally look at my schedule and figure out uh, how to do things and when to do things. Now, where's my knife? Grab my knife. So I believe the switches and stuff should arrive separately. I don't think it's in here, but maybe I'm wrong. Whoa. Look at that. Man, that's wild. This is kind of cool. I think this is a first for the gas come on boards. So what is this? Oh, wow. LED spacers. So this thing will have four. Well, the cutouts over here. I believe that'll be for the function layers. It's kind of cool. So these will help you get the right height for LEDs. Super cool. So you can see the two holes over here, like a, almost like a pig nose. Yeah, that that's super cool. The rubber feet, we're gonna put these on, and you can see the adhesive gaskets or whatever. Man, this is kind of crazy actually. You got rubber. I believe silicone will be next down the list. Now I will say the kind of annoying thing is that you can't really experiment because they're adhesive. So you can't really experiment with how, you know, it says it allows you to fine tune it, but. Oh, okay, so hold on, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think, so hopefully they'll be available for purchase uh, separately because you know, if you change your mind on anything, Say you, you start off with silicone and you find out, oh, I actually like a softer one. And you try Coron and then you think, oh, wow, you know what? I actually prefer the silicone or the rubber. I'm going to go back to that. But the adhesive is gone already. So, yeah, you can see Coron. Foam is even softer. Rubber, you start having some resistance. Or silicone, you have some resistance. And then rubber will give you the most. Although, I'm actually kind of feeling it now. I think silicone gives me more. It feels firmer than the rubber. Let me read that thing again. Because in this thing, it says rubber is the firmest. But, so far from just trying it out, it feels like silicone is... Firm, but hey, what do I know? Yeah, I see rubber. It's, it's kind of flops. But... This one doesn't really. So I think this might, even though the list says this should be harder or tougher, so far I feel like this is the toughest. Like Infinity Skins? Yes. I'm sure you can reuse them, but you know, of course, you know, it'll get worse over time or you might damage them. TTM Henchman, been waiting for the stream all day. I don't know why. Hey, hello. So you did. Thankfully, I decided to 
you know, follow through with the second unboxing because at first I was gonna cut it after the first unboxing because we, we did we already did the one unboxing. We did the Austin prototype. We're gonna tear this thing. Come on! Why? It's like a s seal on it. So. It's kind of hard to get the PCB up. Look at that! That is a long boy! This is you, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> yeah, that is quite substantial. Nathan Volt, hello, welcome to the stream. Flung in my i69 PCB. Yeah, of course. Just got, got the three extra shit away. Uh, two, two extra columns. Yeah, so. Pretty long. Uh, the foam, this is the board. Man, look at it. All oh, these new. That new, new. Okay, uh, nothing underneath, right? We're not gonna put the gaskets on yet. I'm gonna wait on Japanese for writer to decide which one he wants. So, so far, pretty cool stuff. We'll leave the long boy PCB over here. Now, see, you've got a Cool little bag. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is gonna be included in all the kits. Okay, so let's check this out again. And I put the link again in chat if you wanna check it out. We're gonna unboxing day. Yes, lots of good stuff. Hopefully, I have something for next Monday. I haven't figured that out. Okay, so it comes with aluminum chassis or case, aluminum plate, gasket kits, eight pieces of each, four different types. A PCB, four bonbons, limited edition sleeves. So this comes with all of them. If you buy this, you get this. Super cool. Optional add-on, sandblasted brass plate, plus PCB kit, gasket kits. Okay, so you can buy more gasket kits. I think that, I think that everyone should get at least one. If you're gonna buy, you might as well just get an, one extra of this. I think that's just safe, right? Just in case. Okay, so you get black, dark gray, or Aegis navy. Man, this is navy everywhere now. You need indigo. Yeah, it's a super cool. Thanks, Kanye. So the designers, you can check them out. The team, the AE team. Eric Song, Brandon Wong, Harrison Chan. It's actually, uh, it always amuses me how many Asians there are in this hobby. It's very interesting. Before this week is so good, next week doesn't have the same impact as this. Exactly, that's pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Can I buy this off you after you build it? So, no, because it's not mine. Uh, pretty much all the boards I build, you can't buy them off of me because they belong to other people. Other people send them to me for me to build them. They pay me to build them. And so I am just a man behind just 
they're paying me for my labor basically so, yeah, so pretty much all the boards you can't purchase them off of me unfortunately yes so if you do you'll have to purchase your own kit no you are responsible for getting all the parts ship them to me and I'll sort the rest of it out looks like 7e to me instead of AE yes I cannot see the A I really really struggle to see the A well okay okay you know what no I only struggle to see it when it's at other angles but if you look at their proper angle which is this angle then yes then it looks like an A to me now it doesn't look at 7 anymore so this is the way the Lego is the, I keep saying Lego god damn it the, <laughs> the logo is supposed to look so I can see AE, but if you just move it sideways, I no longer see the A. It's, it's kind of like a... Yeah, see, so once they move it this way, you know, I cannot see this AE anymore. Too many Asians, not enough Brazilians. Yes. And how few brothers. <laughs> Very few. Uh, I can only think of the only ones that I can think of. Actually, well, there are... There are actually, I do know some here in Dallas. But I think the more prominent ones, you have Chokhan, and you have that guy from CSGO. What's his name? Well, I really don't remember. But I, I don't I don't follow CSGO though. Yeah, the Bardolph. There we go. James Bardolph. Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Yes. What is his, uh, what is his gamer tag or whatever? Does he have a, wow, this bag, man, what is on the inside? Ooh, yes, all black. Pretty much action that I get free keyboards. Is this just an extra pouch? What is this? I guess it's a pouch for your cables. Maybe it goes all the way though. That's an insanely long pouch. Okay, so you can see on the inside, it's got this synthetic fleece. Obviously, it's not, you know, the super premium stuff, but it's still cool. So in here it says, hand wash, not above 70 degrees Celsius, do not ring. <laughs> it actually says wiring. Do not wiring. Hang to dry. No steam. Do not bleach. If you're going to iron it, not above 60, uh, 80. Is that 80? 80 degrees Celsius. No direct contact to surface. Custom sleeve. So yeah, see how it has two compartments as well, so you get to double fist this thing. Uh, you get a hand warmer too. If you so desire. Yeah, but super cool though that it comes with this thing. Yeah, it is nice and thick. See, look at that. Even when you flatten it. Because, yeah, because of the inner lining.
I will say though, I'm usually not a fan of uh, sleeves. I much prefer preferred uh, cases and stuff like that or bags because my concern no it's probably just because I'm paranoid or something oh I just realized I have the wrong lights on oh no oh no Ugh. those aren't supposed to be on yeah so my concern is with pouches like that if you get a random grain of sand somewhere in here it's gonna be very difficult to get it out right and as we all know sand is the worst thing for electronics because of its hardness so if you just have a random grain of sand in here you could easily scratch a board or something and it's gonna be very difficult to get it out also because of how fuzzy it is on the inside so you know you could just trap it somewhere in there so that's my concern, but I'm probably just paranoid. Yeah, because you, know, you just, you know, maybe you have, you know, you, you go to the beach and, you know, you have random grains of sand in your phone case and then it drops into your pocket and you don't know, you know, so the grain of sand is still in your pocket and you reach in for your keyboard, that sand transfers from your hand to the sleeve and then when you're pulling your keyboard out or, you know, when moving around, the, the sand will scratch the keyboard case. But yeah, I'm, I'm just paranoid. Oh, that is a deep black. Holy shit. It's been a while since I saw a board with a black case and a black plate. A long while, actually. So, so this is super black. Right, look at that. Look how dark that is. So it's the plate that's kind of moving around the inside. So that's because, you know, we still need to put the gaskets in there. So that's room for the gaskets. So, but we don't know what uh, which ones we're going to use yet. Now the nice thing looking at this, look at how fixed that layout is. That is so nice. Oh, I should probably check. No, it does that one thing that I don't like. Okay, so so I like that it's a fixed layout. I like that it uses the wind killer's bottom row, uh, well, or uses the sangan bottom row keys, 1.5, 1.5. Now, this is the part where, where I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of. This thing over here. So it's why the cock keyboard and the 7V for this layout we will want you to use a 6U spacebar so you don't get this, you don't get this line over here because you want them to all be staggered because you have every, almost everything else is staggered especially in the bottom row so this thing will kind of stand out most people won't care but for me it's why we did you know the cock keyboard and the some of you will have a 6U bottom row if you want to use this because then you'll have two 1.5s is it? I don't remember now or is it 1.25 all I don't know, let me see so all of a sudden I don't even remember uh, yes oh wait hold on this is not even the layout I'm thinking of uh, hold on.
Okay, so it is 1.5, right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Galk is still here. Yeah, see, so this is a 6U. So look at that. 1.5, 1, 1.5, 6, 1.5, 1.5. So the thing is, of course, this thing can't do that because this is a staggered, so this is more... Well, no, this should work with... Oh, no, 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 no. It should. Hold on, I'm just dumb, right? Move this thing here. Oh, right, it has the... Yeah, so why not just... Yeah. I'm so confused. Why not just 7? Hold on, let's do some math real quick. Hold up. Keyboard, layout editor. So you can just ignore all these, right? So the way it is right now is, let me delete this key. Wait, no, 1.25 here, right? Yeah, so this bothers me greatly. All right, this part. Now, if they just did, I think, is it shift arrow to, yes. They just made it six. And they could just put 1.5 and one. Oh yes, or all 1.25. Yeah, why not all 1.25? <laughs> what? So we just did. Where am I? And this will go back to 6.25. See? Oh, and then you get this part though. But still, because, okay, see, so it's all about compromise. It's all about, you know, consistency and things like that, right? So even if we do end up getting this part over here, so everything is ortholinear or whatever. The thing is, at least not all the mods are the same width, so you still have, you know, you are getting this one part, it's kind of annoying, one inconsistency, but you get this consistency over here. Where's the default layout? For this one, you have 1.5, 1, 1.5, oh boy, you get this, and then you get, wait a minute, you get this part, and you get a 1.25, and you get a 1, so you know, it's just, it's just more inconsistency, kind of unnecessary. I don't know why they did that. And because it's fixed layout, so you just kind of stuck with it. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, seven, I would have liked the seven. I would have really liked the, the seven. So I agree with you, Arctic Fox. 1.5 for these three. I think if I use it, shift. And then. Hold on, seven, right? Yeah. So this will go away. So this will be seven. See, whip seven. See, so I would have preferred, I would have liked this. And it gives it more balance as well because it is a 65%. So you have this whole section over here. This gives it kind of a visual balance, right? You have this part here. And people say, well, you only have one key over here. Yeah, but, you know, this whole section kind of becomes one and this becomes one. Whereas if you have the, this one, right, it just doesn't look balanced. Like there's just some oddness about it. And yeah, and it makes it easy because you just need one type of, you know, bottom root. You just need the Sangan bottom root. You're set. You are set. 
and this also means that you can just use a lot of uh, you could use your BSP or OG Cherry although it doesn't have stat caps lock but you could still put some other key there you know just make an artisan key and slap it on there when worlds collide mentally thank you so much you can 19 man raider well not man not all when man. worlds That's collide you laugh so thank hard. you so much where you died when worlds collide hold my hand i'll be your guy when worlds collide so i'm sure all of you or at least most of you will know who mentally is so big shout out to her please check her out on her channel if you haven't already that should work does that work Yes, so I was just talking about one of her projects, I think uh, last Monday, I want to say it was last week, I think, or was it last Sunday? So about the, her new keycap set, oh, let me see, uh, I suddenly can't remember the name for it, it's based on some, yes, Cat Eternal, there we go, because I am... I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of sets that have white alphas or white based alphas and just two colors. Not every keycap set, if you just go to keycap designer, every other set is basically just, hey guys, look at what two colors I matched with white. That's basically it, All right? White alphas, and then I'm gonna pick a darker color for the mods, and then I'm gonna pick one accent color. Bam, new keycap set. And I am so sick of it. So Cat Eternal, Looks so good. I hate white alphas. Thank you. Oh my god, yes. Oh, cause white alphas, that was kinda kinda cool in 2013. Or 2014. But now? Why? Why? Especially with GMK. With PBT, I'm like, okay, fine, I get it. You know, you need dark colors on a light lighter key color. Fine. You're kind you're kinda limited in that regard. GMK is like, wow, we, you know, we're going to do ABS because we could do all the colors possible. And we're going to go GMK because they have amazing color matching. But I'm just going to do white and two other colors. This annoys the hell out of me. Yeah, so Cat Eternal, uh, I do have a link to it. You guys should check it out. Because I really like the cat profile. Uh, I will, it is still the only free, the only uh, free sample anything that I've gone to keep from a, a you know, vendor or whatever, right? That was, that's the only one. Uh, yeah, so Cat Eternal, check out the Geek Hack link to it. So yeah, so a bit of, so we're sidetracking a bit, but look at that, oh, that is so nice. And I, and I don't even like League of Legends. Dota best mobile, uh, uh, but anyway, yeah. But you know, I would I would actually get this set, even though you know, I will I will probably not get the novelties. <laughs> but everything else, it's just so good. It's just so good. Yeah, it's different. That's the important thing, right? When you look at it, you're like, okay, I know what it is. Cat Eternal, although I didn't remember the name of it, but I'm sure in a few weeks I will. Uh, whereas you look at all these sets nowadays that are just, you know, like, okay, GMK Camping and GMK, what's the Ursa, and then there's a third one that's kind of similar. And, you know, and then you have all the other ones as well, and everything's just like, you know, I'm sure in two, three years, no one's gonna remember. Right? We're all just gonna be like, oh, that's sad. And then you're like, oh, is it that one? No, 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 it's the other one. No, it's that one. Whereas something like Cat Eternity, you're like, oh yes, I know that one, you know, it's the only one like this. Have you had problems with PPT caps before? I think everyone does. If you buy enough PPT sets, you always have problems. Uh, warp is a big problem. It's why, you know, people, you know, it's one of the few reasons to go ABS. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I stream, uh, I Every Monday and Friday, 9 p.m. Central. Or well, now that it's the summer, it's around nine. Or uh, it's still the summer in Texas. 9:30 p.m. Central time. Uh, Mondays we do unboxings and other random things like that. Fridays we do keyboard builds. And I'm actually gonna stream this Saturday as well. 
This Saturday, we're going to do the Austin prototype build, which we just unboxed uh, about an hour ago. Delta with Dark Alphas will be 12 out of 10. That's, that's thing. so many sets. Okay. GMK, uh, hold on, which set was it? Not Fire, not Firefly. There was another set recently. Uh, the Moon one. GMK. <laughs> moon Dust. There we go. Okay. Here, okay. So since Winterly is here, maybe I finally have someone who agrees with me. Look at this set. Look at the art for it. What color shows up the most? The dark purple, right? What color shows up the least? The white or the cream. You look at the set and it's all white. Why? Why? See, look, look at the artwork and everything. Everything's you know, mostly purple. But think about the moon, you know, the purple. And that's the theme that we're going for. Everything's mostly purple. But, but the alphas are white, why? Right? See how see how this Topracon looks so good with all the purples? Here's the thing, you say oh because the moon is white, but if you look at the artwork, it's all depicted in purple. It's even this, right? Moon dust. Most of it is in purple. You see only the, these spots in cream. Everything else is purple. So when you give me this artwork, you give me this theme, you know, you're like, hey, purple is the focal point of this set, this theme. You're like, okay, okay, I'm on board, I'm on board. And then it's just all white. Yeah, so there are a lot of sets that are like that, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. GMK Ursa is another one. You look at the all the artwork, all the themes, you're like, okay, I can get on board with that, and then and then the set itself, just white. Why? No, the thing is, again, it's not about the moon, what color it is, but what is depicted in the set, right? Again, look at the look at the theme. Oh, whoops, that didn't work. Yeah, see how the art itself depicts it as purple, right? So why, why, why white? It's like if I did a a a a a, a what is it called? Is it the lunar eclipse that? Lunar Eclipse, right, where the moon turns red? Or am I thinking of it wrong? Which one, or whatever. What do we mix the moon red? Okay, or we make a, a, uh, like a blood moon or whatever. Like a blood moon base set, right? And so, you know, when you think blood moon, you think red, orange. You think of that, 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 that almost eerie, um, almost sinister, I'm thinking of one word. Kind of, what's that word? Ominous. Ominous. That's the word I'm looking for, right? A blood moon base set where, you know, the moon is red and orange. You know, a very ominous set. And you're like, okay, you know, I can imagine, you know, you know it's going to be mostly dark. And you've got that orange reddish tone to it. And bam, we're going to give you white alphas. And you're like, why? And, and then, you know, there'll be people saying, well, because the moon is white. Like, well, yeah, but. The moon is normally white, but in this theme, it is going to be red and orange. It doesn't make sense. Right? And all the art is just black, and then that red and orange hue, that glow. And then alphas, white. It's going to make it white. Yeah, it's just annoying because, you know, 
It's just gonna, it's just a sudden sudden blending of everything else. Uh, it's gonna be boring. But yes, but let's go back to the EXC soon. What makes a set special to you? I mean, a set that goes with its theme and matches its theme well. It doesn't have have the story, right? We're just talking about theme. It doesn't have the story. I know some people love the story and the whatever. I don't care about that. If you can mix, here's the thing. If you can mix the colors well, great. Or theme. But right now, there's a lot of Me Too sets. And I mean Me Too as in, in a negative way. I don't mean like the, you know, like, me, you know, like, coming forward with, you know. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, every other set, you're going to forget it. In like a year or two, no one's going to remember your set. Because it's just a white base set with two colors. Random colors slapped together. That's it. Yeah, people just follow trends. Check the bottom row of JMKTA90 on his website. Okay, I will, I will, I will. This one? Oh, whoops. JMK Dots is cool. Definitely unique. And Mr. Rogers, also the host. What a raid. It, it, it might become a raid. Cat milkshake, not yet, JHTV. JHTV. We're gonna, we're gonna, let's, let's get, uh, let's get done with this. <laughs> we, we kind of, this has been a huge, uh, 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 uh. What's what we're looking for? God damn it. My vocabulary is so bad today. I love you. But Mr. Lodges, with the anniversary, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, yeah. A segue, I guess? Nah, not really. Um, detour. That was the word. Detour. Detour. Okay, so what about... So you get a short 1.25? Yes, that's what we've been talking this whole time. Oh, different... Oh my god, different heights for Sangha and Standard? Okay, okay, that is bad. Yes, you're right. See, 1.5 over here, it's, uh, it's row 5, bottom row, super tall, and then you get this super short. Oh my god, see, this one is also row 5, and this one's row 4. Why? Why did they do this? Why? Anyway, Mr. Rogers, thank you so much for the host. We're 53 people. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you can see... Look at that. Wrist check. This is a Graf Zeppelin. Power reserve, flatline, or flatline power reserve. Got it. Thanks to Mr. Rologist. No, he didn't give it to me, but he gave me the watch bug. And so, I bought three automatic watches because of him. So yeah, so check him out if you haven't already. If you like horology, you like watches, watchmaking, tinkering, tink just tinkering in general. Crazy stuff, good stuff. Definitely check him out. But yeah, Fox, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so let's put the rubber feet on here and let's take this thing apart. Yeah, we took a big detour. That's for sure. So this is the X65 or the EXC65. We earlier we unboxed the Austin prototype. It is a compact full size board. Oh, Mr. Rogers, since you're here. Do you still need a mechanical keyboard? And what? Do you need a numpad? Like, are you a, a, a full size? You don't need someone that's it's big. Or do you, are, do you want a TKL? Just answer those two. There's no right or wrong answer. TKL a full size. Okay, uh, let's see. And what else? Yeah, so okay, so those of you who are joining us from Mr. Rology stream, I am Zuzu One Anthony. I do custom mechanical keyboard content most of the time. Uh, Mondays we do unboxings. Fridays we do builds, full custom keyboard builds. 9 p.m. Central is the supposed time, but we usually start 9:30 Central p.m. And so on Sundays, sometimes I stream video games or Lego builds and things like that. But yeah, so welcome aboard. So yeah, Mr. Rogers, TKL or full size? You decide. You want tank healers, do you need a numpad? OK. 
Okay, so this is the EXE65. Let's look, look at the angles real quick. So it has, you know, similar to the Koala, the, uh, what is it? The Koala was kind of the first one to do this. I'm thinking of the KVD. Oh, wow, I don't remember. What well, wasn't the KB65, right? Tofu 65? No, KB65? V2 or whatever? I really got my feet wet yet? Okay, so, okay. So here is the... Do you need, do you use a numpad at all, meteorologist? That is, that is the question. That is it. Like literally one question. Do you use a numpad for a keyboard? That is it. Do you need one? Are you used to it? Do you punch numbers with it? He's a time TKL? No, I'm not. <laughs> We're not giving him a time TKL. But hey, if someone wants to donate one, sure. But yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so all black over here is super cool. Again, we don't often see blackboards with black plates. I forgot how cool it looks, how menacing it looks. So we'll just take this thing apart. So yeah, so we're just doing an unboxing day. We're not going to build this thing. And uh, this thing will have the... We'll look at where you're supposed to put the gaskets as well. Use my numpad a lot for builds, but like the simplicity of TKL. Okay. Numpad a lot for builds. Okay, well, if you're going to use it for builds and stuff, because... Bad news caps donated a ducky. I don't remember what uh, exactly it is, but I think it's a ducky one. Maybe I'm wrong. But it is a full size with MX Browns and PVT caps, from what I believe, what I understand. And he told me to either do a giveaway or do whatever I want with it. And. I'd rather give it to you. So I don't need this. Right? Or I could do a giveaway and get some get some likes on Instagram, but nah. So Yes. This would be a good starter board. Let me figure out if you do need the numpad or not. Yeah. I've just been busy. I've I've been meaning to, to ask you about this, but I've been busy with family the past two weeks. But since you're here today. Yes, that would be very nice. Yeah, so if you do use a numpad at all, I'll give that to you. You could always get a TKL, a nice TKL in the future. But for now, just use that. You know, if you find yourself, okay, you know, I think I can deal without a numpad. Then you can do no numpad. Yeah, because it's either I give it to some rando who, you know, will probably just end up selling the board for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks. You know, or, or whatever amount. I don't even know what they're going for these days. But, you know, someone would just sell it for cheap just to get cash. And I'd rather give it to someone who wants or needs one. Oh, please don't feel, don't, don't, you don't have to feel like it's, it's some huge... <laughs> I'm not giving you a thousand five hundred dollar keyboard. Right, but you know it's a good way to get your dick wet or uh, your feet wet I'm not giving away a vintage Rolex or a Lange yeah starch face God wears Gucci I like that name along to the stream as well Yeah, it's gonna be better than exactly. Just like what Talisman Solutions said, it's gonna be better than, than you know, a non-mechanical keyboard. Can't use it at the shop. But I can use it at home. See, exactly. Wait, you can't use it at the shop. Do you need a wireless at the shop? Or you can't use your own devices at the shop?
Decent price, 65% keyboards. It depends on what your decent price is, right? Like people have very different, just like watches, right? What is your budget? You know, you could say decent price and you're like, oh, well, what, what, what are you talking, what are we talking about? You wireless my bench for my shop comp. Okay, yeah, but yeah, you, you use it at home. It's fine. Yeah, wireless would be tricky. Although, although. Uh, 65%. If we're talking like a. Because it sounds like he wants a board that he can actually use instead of just something that, you know, he's just trying to build something cheap with. In that price range, then your best bet is something from KBD Fans. Go to this website, look for the 65% ones. So. Do not get their assemble kits though. Get, get the non-assemble ones. Yeah, so get K267, that's what I'm thinking of. It's sold out now though. But yeah, so K267. I think that's pretty much your best bet. Oh, there's a Mark II that's also sold out. Rip. Yeah, so check out this page. These two would be good. I'm trying to find a I'm trying to find one on Mac Market or something. Yeah. Insane value for these two. But like they're both sold out right now man the weight on the v2 looks so good with the exposed gray part over here so nice anyway on sale on friday well it's not just so that because i you know i want you to have me build it but almost anyone can build it better than well, i wouldn't say almost everyone but yeah so if you get the, the if you get them them to assemble it you get what you pay for and yeah you're not gonna a lot so a lot of people they have them they have kbd fans build them and then you know the stabilizer radley and all that and then they approach me because i've most i wouldn't say most but i get a lot of requests about hey how much would it cost for you to change out one thing or help me fix the stabilizers or whatever on on the board because they're pretty bad and like yeah it's gonna cost you you know so i've been telling them you're better off just selling out the pre the one that you got kvd fans to build the pre-assembled one and then buying just the parts and then sending that to me instead of having me desolder everything and then rebuild the whole thing okay okay 67 mark 2 in a couple days okay so yeah so check that out keep an eye on that uh what's the name god where's gucci Okay, uh, and real quick, Mr. Ologist, if you need something Bluetooth, actually, no, you know what? This will, probably won't work for you. It's got a really weird layout, but hold on. Okay, uh, what was I? Yes, the X65, I forgot. Okay, so we unscrew this thing. So you can see eight slots for where the gaskets go. Now they gave us four kinds. Rubber, silicone, poron, and foam. So they all have varying levels of firmness. With they say rubber is the firmest, but from you know how it feels, silicone feels the firmest actually, and foam being the softest. So those will go over here and over here. Wait. If they include eight, that means you need to mix, right? Because you're going to need... You're going to need 16 of them if you want the same material for all of them. Okay. Yeah, because... Wait, so why? Why did they... <laughs> wow. Okay, Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the, the cheer. 
Really appreciate it. And for the resub, I believe. Is there a resub? Yes, 12 months. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, thank you. 90 cents will be available for the 6 7. Okay, so yeah, so uh, God Wars Gucci, definitely keep an eye out on the sale because they will, they might sell out. So if you are interested in it, definitely keep an eye on it. Yeah, so what's gonna go on? Are we just gonna mix two? That'll be very strange. And how will we mix it anyway? Because you can't use things that are too soft on the underside because if you use something that's too soft on just the bottom and then the top part is firm, then it'll just smash the whole thing down, right? And God was Gucci, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hope you hope you stick around. See some other keyboards. And I actually built a KB67, not the V, not the Mark II, but the first one, uh, a while back. I don't know if I ever put the video up on YouTube. Might not have, but. But yeah, so you can see the LED cutout. So this is what I wanted them to do for the Austin. This way, the LEDs won't just bleed into the rest. So if you have, say, this one on, it won't light up this one and this one. Yeah, so literally, we have my main problem with this is just the bottom row layout. It is the strangest bottom row I've decision I've seen just so weird I don't know why yeah other than that because other than that you know I like the fixed plate pretty much fixed for the most part I like the black and black super cool black PCB black everything black gaskets yeah just why I don't get it why why did they do this Okay, so, and honestly, I don't even know if this is supposed to be a prototype or not. <laughs> or was it an early sale model? Or are they all on sale right now? So it's just soon, right? I don't know why I got this. I didn't ask a lot of questions. When Japanese horror writer said he would send to me, I was like, okay. Uh, Energizing is not perfect. I think a six or seven is also good. Uh, closer to seven. This is black though, so it, it is harder to spot any flaws. Black. Uh, but. Yeah, so. A little above average. Hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit. I, I, I would say this is. Yeah, that has a slightly lower quality quality than the Austin prototype analyzing. So in terms of 6.5, it's closer to a 6, you know? The other one is closer to a, a 7. So just barely though, they're, they're still kind of close. Let me check the bottom, maybe that'll change my mind. Um, yeah, I think I think 6 is fair, honestly, you know, I look at it more. 6, 7 might be a bit generous. Six, I think it's fair. Yeah, so six, I give it a six. Again, I don't know if this is a production model or what. I, I have no idea. I probably should have asked a few more questions. Gas okay, only goes on the bottom. Was that the... It's a Thai keyboard shit. Okay. Okay, okay. So then on the bottom. All right. So it's kind of similar to the keycout number one, then the first version. It was only on the bottom. Well, yeah, I mean, 
Oh, it's just a shame, right? It's it's it would have been so good, but the bottom row. Why? What was the logic behind it? So this is number nine out of fifty. That's super cool. Got a bit of. A little bit of engraving or etching or whatever over here. 9 out of 50. Super cool. Oh god, I have to wipe this thing down. It is a fingerprint magnet. Yeah, check that out. We've got the curves over here. Of course, it's nice because it doesn't have the flat or flush side seams. So, I always like that. Actually, this is kind of cool. You see the three layers? Super neat. Or levels or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. I'm just bewildered by the... The bottom row. I still don't understand it. I... Why? It was so close to something nice. I mean, I, well, I say that, but you know, it's still, it's still a very nice board. They're close to something perfect. Ooh. Yeah, that black black is mm, super cool, though. Yeah, so this. Uh, I will let you know when we built this thing. I don't have any of the switches or anything like that for it yet, I think. I received a lot of packages recently and I just haven't had time to look at all of them. Just look at that mess. Oh. This week is gonna be, it's gonna be rough. All the catching up to do. Look at that. There's just so much stuff that I have to sort through. Yeah, so that's the AE the AE X65. Check that out if you're interested. I will put the link again in chat. And let's roll the credits. Somebody if you have any other questions, again, we stream every Monday and Friday, 9 30 p.m. Central Time. Oh, I'm so hungry. So first of all, thank you Minter Lee for the raid and Mr. Rogers for the host. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll probably eat more of that chocolate brioche. I still have kind of half of it left, like 45% of it left. Uh, thank you Drifting Bunnies for the Austin prototype that we're going to build this Saturday. Talisman Solutions Phoenix Star, Gondolindrim. Thank you for the cheers. I believe that's the cheers. I'm wrong. Yes, thank you. The follows we've got threes, four twentying, Jastis, Phoenix Star, Time Lord, Alonzi, Gondolindrum. Thank you so much. Oh, and Mr. Alleges, yeah. So add me on Discord, or I'll add you on Discord. I'll have to find you. Uh, Innsbird, Visionarx, Jerk Chicken, four five six, Mediocre Pudding, or Goyal, Talisman Solutions, Mr. Alleges. God wears Gucci. Thank you for the subs and the resubs. I really appreciate it. And I think that's mostly it. And then let's look for someone to raid real fast. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so Shay is streaming. So let's go there. Again, thank you everybody for being here. If I stream before Friday, I'll let you all know. But definitely Friday and Saturday, we're going to be streaming. Some keyboard builds. I hope you all have a good week. And to all new people, welcome aboard. I hope I see you around soon. But yeah, have a good night. Good week. Bye-bye.